Here at the United Nations in Geneva during the sessions of the 44th Human Rights Council, some delegations attended in person, others sent a video message in order to participate in the interactive dialogue with a special rapporteur on the subject of the right to education. The Holy See noted in their video message that the current pandemic had caused a heavy impact on schools and academic institutions and that the educational sector needed to be more humanized and offer alternatives to public schools. Humanized education therefore does not restrict itself to doling out an educational service, but keeps in mind and has at heart the bigger picture of personal, moral and social attitudes of the participant in the, of the educational process. Even though over flooded by information, still today's society seems to underestimate knowledge and education. The results are racism, misguidance in the church, economical problems and much more. Education is the most important single element of any human behavior, any human achievement. It's not only peace and development, but anything else. Education is something that is really a basis of everything. Education is also a basis of promotion of human dignity. If you don't educate people, you don't give them dignity. Education is also a source of giving empowerment of women. If you don't give education to young girls, and, and, and you will never give them a possibility in life. So it means education is really everything. So, and education is something that church and religious organization can do many things in this field. And this is exactly what we really stress very much. Children around the world share the same desire to go to school. But in developing countries, the road to school is often long and hard and sometimes keeps children from going to school. Therefore, distance education or distance learning, particularly during this COVID crisis, became very popular, as it does not require to be physically present at a school. But the problem is that this possibility, this tool, is acceptable and it is accessible only to the well-off countries, to the rich countries. So it means instead of simplifying and making this, uh, the education more accessible, it's more polarizing all the system of education. So poor are having less today because of the education on distance and richer are having more. The Holy See emphasized that in order to strengthening the educational sector and achieving the sustainable development agenda, the collaboration of public and private educational institutions would be necessary. Pope Francis has suggested to use the power of education for a more fraternal humanity and highlighted that education is a peacemaking movement, an agent of peace. I would like to add one single uh, element of re recent uh, the days or recent uh, month, that the um, Holy Father wanted to have in the Vatican University, let's say university, his university, which is Lateran University, he wanted to have a school of studies for peace. And everybody was looking at this school, study of peace as something, let's say, okay, can be, well, what does it mean? But he wanted to have, he said, if we leave peace just to intuition, to, just to somebody who is inspired, we will never reach a real level of people being ready to consider the peace as an essential element of human life. We are very happy with the development of this uh, Institute of Higher Studies. And we are very happy that this institute makes somehow collaboration with the University of Peace of the United Nations. And in the world that we live, which is full of danger, uh, such an initiative is so important for us and I think has a good future for the years to come. The Pope said that education that has as its center the person in his or her integral reality has the purpose of bringing him or her to the knowledge of himself or herself of the common home in which he or she lives, and above all, to the discovery of fraternity as a relationship that produces the multicultural composition of humanity, a source of mutual enrichment. <laughs>